DC motors are the fundamental part of the electronics world. There are many different types of motors designed for different purposes. Among them are the stepper and servo motors. Both these motors have almost the same usage but in fact are quite different from each other. Now let me introduce you to the servo motors. Unlike standard DC motors, it is not just a motor but an assembly of different parts that combine to form the servo motor. Servo motors are used for very accurate movement within a limited angle. The movement of these motors can be controlled very precisely and are faster than stepper motors. Stepper motors move in discrete steps instead of continuous rotation. The complete rotation of the stepper motor is divided over many discrete steps. Using these steps any position can be achieved with accuracy. Stepper motors are slow as compared to servo motors. The servo motors have three input terminals. Two are for supplying power to the servo motor and one is for controlling the rotation of the servo motor. The input to its control is a signal, either digital or analog, representing the position commanded for the output shaft. Stepper motors have multiple coils that are organized in groups called phases. These coils when energized become electromagnets. By energizing each phase in sequence the motor will rotate one step at a time. This way the rotation of the motor can be precisely controlled. Now let's have a look at the similarities and differences of the stepper and servo motors. The servo motors are quite faster than the stepper motors and thus mostly preferred over the stepper motors for this reason. Both stepper and servo motors need power to move to a certain position. But once a servo motor have reached its position it comes into its rest position and no longer consumes power, whereas stepper motor continuously consumes power during its operation. But a high torque can be achieved by stepper motor as compared to the servo motors. One of the major difference between stepper and servo motors is the torque they produce. Stepper motors always have full torque during its operation while the torque of the servo motor varies with its motion and the position. A servo motor offers an additional time-dependent peak torque rating, a more flexible speed curve, and higher performance. The torque considerations are an important factor in deciding that either servo or stepper motor is to be used in the project. Stepper motors have reasonable torque at all times but the torque is maximum while accelerating the output shaft. Hence the torque of stepper motors needs to be in a limit where it can accelerate when needed. Servo motors have easy acceleration as they have varying torque depending on the acceleration and position of the output shaft. Considering the above mentioned considerations the ideal motor is selected for the projects. If an application requires complete standstill stability, a stepper motor is the better choice, servos are the better choice in vertical applications in which the motor must hold a load still and for smooth operations. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more such videos.